I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. What has he done for the city? He stood on people in Cleveland. Everybody kept bowing down to him. You're the King James. You're the man. This really diminishes his legacy so much, man. James watched it himself in his bedroom. Afterwards, it was just, it was a pretty quiet night. I didn't want to have to deal with anyone because everyone knew how big of a fan I was. I was upset, but not long after, I realized that I'm a LeBron fan. I'm going to support his decision. He was a LeBron fan no matter where LeBron went, and he was going to be a LeBron fan if he was in Cleveland. He was going to be a LeBron fan if he was in Miami. Temperatures here in Cleveland are raw and bitter with nearly a 100% chance of rage. I paid an arm and a leg for tickets. There was a lot of hate going towards LeBron. He wore LeBron's Miami Heat shirt, and it was rough. It was the angriest crowd in the history of sports. Me and my dad actually almost got into a fight with a couple guys. The hate was masking how they really felt, which is they were more upset because they, like me too, wanted to see him win in Cleveland and know Cleveland could win with him. Then I heard the quote when the reporters asked him, how would you feel about playing in Cleveland again? The yeah. comments you made yesterday about maybe coming back here, what, why should the fans believe that? You know what, I'm concentrating on this season. You know, uh, you know, like I said, the question was asked, I answered it truthfully. And so I started thinking, like, he doesn't truly know how the fans here feel, and I wanted to find some type of way to show him. Well, this is the fourth return of LeBron James. I knew it was illegal. I knew it would be frowned upon. This is probably the nervous I've ever been. We got a fan on the floor. Oh, my goodness. Out of the corner of my eye, I see some kid wearing a white T-shirt. And my first thought was, uh-oh, this kid is going to try to kill LeBron. When I seen it, I said, what an idiot. I said, he's going to jail. I was furious, and that's the only thing I could tell you. I was just, I was furious at him. There was something written on that shirt, and it said, come home, LeBron. No, we don't want you back. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. What was LeBron's reaction to that? I just tapped him, and when he looked at me, I said, we miss you here, LeBron. Come back home. If you want to come back, we'll support you. That's when the security got to me very quickly, and LeBron actually kind of put his hand up, almost like, hold on reached out, gave me a high five, gave me like a little hug, tapped me on the back of my head, and I was banned for life from the Quicken Loans Arena. I had to spend time in jail. He said he missed me, and uh, come back please. And uh, I didn't have much time to say much to him because you know the security got to him, but um, you know, I just I patted him on the head. People didn't think it was cool to admit that they wanted LeBron back. Maybe that kid that went out there was the thing that got the ball rolling on the whole thing. James Blair made himself into a symbol of how Cleveland felt about LeBron. I was more or less the first person to come out and kind of show how I felt, and I wasn't afraid to show that. And by me doing that, a lot of people kind of followed in suit. Nobody four years ago ever thought we would be in this spot, so here it is today. It finally feels good to talk about something positive in Cleveland sports. If he wants, he can take a small percentage of credit for getting LeBron back. And I think James Blair's work is done. I think he's accomplished his mission. For your love, for your love, I, would give the stars above. I received a certified letter, and it was from the Cleveland Cavs, and it just said that I was allowed back in the arena. I would never run on the court again, but I probably am going to make a shirt along the lines of welcome back. From the day he left, I always said he'd come back. They thought I was crazy.